Alright, this one is a bit heavier. This is the Ride 66, the black and green edition with big wheels, 26 inch with 4 inch wider, I guess. It's for snow and sand. Um, well, let's open and see what's inside. So this is the Ride 66 R5 Pro Edition. This e-bike comes with a total weight of 29 kilograms, battery included. It came with a 26 4-inch flat tire, very comfortable and so smooth in a bumpy areas. And what's cool about flat tires is they are suitable for various roads, mountains, sand and even snow. The max speed of the Ride 66 is about 50 kilometers. I only managed to reach 45 kilometers with my test. So it depends on a variety of conditions which we're gonna bring more in details later on this video. A 1000 watt brushless motor which will lead us to the battery. It's a 48 volt fast charge capable from 0 to 100% in about 8 hours and it can last without charging in up to 60 kilometers. The Ride 66 R5 is made with aluminum alloy and what's cool about it that they made it a waterproof design which makes it easy to drive on various roads with accumulated water and puddles. The Ride 66 can support the payload up to 150 kg. It comes with the three modes that can be switched freely according to the road environment. So you can drive the Ride 66 with zero electricity, meaning using only your pedal force. This mode is used when you have very critical battery level or you just want to improve your fitness. The Ride 66 can assist you while pedaling, so for 50% of pedaling force, you get that 50% of power. And if you are a lazy guy like me, then pure electric mode is what you're looking for. Just turn the acceleration handle to full speed and you got for yourself an electric car taking you from point A to point B with zero effort.
So even though the Ride 66 seems to be the perfect e-bike, I found a little downside that for some of you won't be a big deal, I guess. The 29kg isn't fun to carry. I mean, all you have to do is just push it, right? The wheels are in contact with the ground, but the problem is just hard to manipulate. And another issue, not sure it's just my unit, is the accuracy of the meter speed, which seems to be not correct with the speed that I'm rolling with in real time. Last and not least is the placement of the key. To turn on the e-bike, you just have to long press on the M button for about 3 seconds. Here you have a digital dashboard with a bunch of informations. Starting from top left, your battery power, your last trip kilometer range, current speed, then the modes we talked about earlier. You can switch them with the up-down arrow buttons. By increasing the pass, you increase the speed. Horn button sounds a bit of funny, but yeah, it does a job. And then the LED lighting system located back in front of the right 66. Last but not least is the phone support equipped with the USB charging port. I admit it's a nice touch from the company. When folding the right 66, you'll get a size of 40 cm by 100 cm by 93 cm. While when it's unfolded, it becomes 168 long by 150 tall. Overall, I really recommend the Riot 66. The link will be in the description, of course. It's very robust, good-looking e-bike with a powerful motor and good range. If you're looking for all-terrain bike, not very expensive with a sleek design, in my opinion, the Riot 66 might be the one. Anyways, thank you guys for watching and see you on the next one. Peace out. Okay, here's my drone. Very far. That's what happened. Me try to make a YouTube video. I need to be Spider Man.